All right, what's on the bench? A big Tektronix box. This thing's huge. Um, so my friend gave me this as well. Some of the stuff came out of an estate. A friend of his uh, passed away and uh, it's found its way to a good home. Uh, me, <laughs> it is a Tektronix A6303. So uh, I've seen these before in pictures, but I've never actually touched one. Um, they were quite expensive and um, they made smaller ones that I've always tried to get my hands on. Um, but again, they're expensive. Uh, so what is it? Uh, look at this. Look at this. Wow. This box just for this one thing. Okay. Looks like a ray gun, right? You can put this in a movie. Uh, so it has a big, like a one inch by one inch window here. And if you squeeze it, the, the back here squeezes. You squeeze it, it opens up. Looks like a Glock. <laughs> uh, and it is a clamp on current probe. Uh, you can see, you can kind of see the metal winding there. Uh, I don't know if that's the hall of piece of the hall effect. That looks like it's hard, part of the, uh, part of the sensor, uh, material. Yeah. So there's a, there's a loop here and coils. There's, there's like, uh, alternating coils on the two sides and then it uses a Hall effect sensor to uh, detect the amount of current coming to this thing. There's an arrow in here. It says the arrow is being detected in this direction here. So yeah. Um, so what's the specification on this thing? Um, let's see. It is, uh, first of all, it can't be used alone. All right. Uh, look at this connector. This connector is worth the money right there. Look at that. Whoo. That's an expensive connector with lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of pins on it. So it uh, requires a amplifier, a, uh, uh, amplifier for this particular thing. Um, and, uh, so when, when, when the two are put together, it can do, uh, it can detect DC to 15 megahertz. So well, that's pretty, spe that's pretty speedy, uh, zero to 15. Uh, megahertz and zero to a hundred amps. So it'll go up to a hundred amps. So this is the big boy toy. Um, although if you hook it up to the machine, so, uh, the machine that you should hook it up to is a, um, what is it? An AM 503, if I remember right. Um, it is a plugin for this series, the, the, uh, the TM 500 series, you can get a plugin for that, that operates this and that AM 503, once you have it connected on the oscilloscope, you can get ranges of 10 milliamps per division up to 50 milliamps per division, uh, 50 amps per division. So 10 milliamps per division or 50 amps per division. So that is pretty wild. Um, so as it is sitting in the box, uh, it's of no use to me. Uh, so, uh, like I said, it requires to have a AM 503, 503A, 503B. And then there was another plugin that was for a uh, 1100 series Tektronix oscilloscope, but the uh, 503, uh, modules will fit this thing. So I went on to eBay, looked around and I've got one coming my way. Uh, so we'll have to wait for that and see if that plugin works and see if the two play together well.